when I was playing hockey, I really liked the teammates. It's competitive. And he was only six years old. Standing in the stands, they had a little pickup game, and he grabs my shirt as we're standing in the stand, and I look down, yeah, Colin, and he says, I want to play. Got him gear, and he hasn't stopped since. I think he found great success at it. I think he turned into a pretty good skater. I love the game. Well, I played defense, right defense, before my accident. I hit another player. I fell down. My coach went up to me. He said, are you all right? And I said, I don't know. My right leg was struggling. My right glove kept falling off. And I started crying. Then my voice uh, stopped. And he couldn't speak. And he was looking at me with those eyes, like, help me, do something for me. Just, Dad, help me. And I blacked out from there. I rode in the ambulance with him to the hospital, and the doctor came over to us at that point and said, it's definitely a brain injury. So he had an arterial venous malformation. It's a collection of blood vessels that broke open and leaked blood into the brain. The area of the brain that was affected affects his right arm, right leg, and the way he speaks. They said, it, you know, it's a brain injury. He may not make it. You need to understand how critical it is. Periodically, someone came out and said, you know, he's still with us. And they said that, you know, well, we did have to revive him. I died twice. They said that he would be in ICU for a while. He would be sedated. He wouldn't be coherent at first. That's probably the hardest thing I've ever had to go through in my lifetime. When he did finally open his eyes and, and just kind of looked around, you knew he had no idea who we were, where he was, or anything. Colin had to relearn a lot of basic activities that we take for granted. He wasn't moving very well. He had a lot of weakness on his right side. Expressive speech was very limited. He knew what he would want to say, but he couldn't get any of his words out. So we started with, like, hi, mom, and then we were able to build off of that. We did a lot of strengthening of his right leg, working on his balance. His strength in his arm came back slowly. His strength in his leg came back a lot faster. When he had trouble, they didn't let him give up. Colin came from a sports background, so we were kind of his new coaches. They kept him going and kept him looking for the positive. I have nothing but good things to say about the Cleveland Clinic. They were helpful to get up to my goal. I think for anyone in that case, that would be extremely frustrating. But he never let that kind of hindered what he ultimately wanted to do. Ultimately in mine was I'm going to get back on that ice again. What pushed me is I wanted to be just like anybody else. When Colin finally left the rehab hospital, he could walk, but still had a lot of limitations. And in spite of that, he went out and kind of lived as normal a life as he could. Getting back on the ice, I was pushing off my, with my left leg all the time. And he didn't look pretty. He, you know, was very wobbly but he loved it. And I got better and better and better. You could just see his confidence building. When he was uh, going into his junior year, his parents approached me and basically said, would it be possible for you to work with Colin for us? All four coaches were sitting at the meeting and they, none of them hesitated a second to give him the opportunity. It was kind of an easy decision. I felt excited to be on a real hockey team. That very first game they put him in, I think it was all of 15 seconds, 30 seconds at most, and it changed him, I mean, it really did. You know, it was truly remarkable to watch him improve practice to practice. With five minutes left in the game, a defense player shot the puck. Colin placed himself right in front of the net, had his stick ready to go, and I tipped it into the goal. First career goal after the injury. And it went in off of his stick. I scored on the ice where the monsters play and I got uh, the game winning puck. I felt surprised and excited. Probably the most magical moment in my 40 years of being around the game of hockey. It was truly amazing. And I achieved what I wanted to, to achieve and scoring that goal put the cherry on top. Colin has displayed a lot more courage than I think someone his age has to show. 
I think courage is facing the unknown. And still stand there and fight until you beat it. In Colin's case, it was being able to walk, talk, read. He has the courage to take it on, and he'll tell you, I want to do it just so people know I can do it. He's giving us all an example of what you can overcome if you put your mind to it with a positive attitude and, and work hard. I could do anything that a regular person can do. Maybe a little bit different, but still I can do it.